I don't know if I can say it, but I know I have to. Well, would it help to write it down so that helps me? Yeah, good idea. And we are back with possibly the final part of the Doki Doki Storm. Last time we saw Act 2 Yuri and obviously she killed herself. And now we're in Act 3. And Act 3 starts... Whoopsie, I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully I can recover from this. But, um... Yeah, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to do that after the play save. But now we've hit like this known space void and I don't know what's going to happen next. So I guess we're going to have to see. Uh, main menu. I didn't want to do that. So if I do this and hit menu, should go away. Yeah, I, I actually returned Jury because I, I, I hit the wrong button. But we're in Act 3, so let's see what the fuck this is. Oh boy. I'm scared, but fuck it. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, hello. Oh, Sayori? Who's there? Is that you, Yuri? You know me? Time to see you. I mean, again. It's been awfully lonely here. Yeah, because SA. What is this place? I don't actually know. But, um, that's what we came out after we died. Died? So, there's some kind of afterlife? Oh, um, well, it turns out things are a lot weirder than that. I'm not sure if I explain it. You talk as if you know me, have we met? I did remember me, though. I'm Sayori. This is familiar. Wait. I do remember you. I remember a lot of things I can remember before. Yeah. I mean, so my mind is better this clear. Live last week twice, but it's been very different the second time. You were only there for the first time around. You were saying that you died? Well, yeah. I kind of killed myself. Sorry? I'm so sorry. I should have tried hard to help you. It's not your fault. But I knew you were depressed. I should have. I should have. I should. I know. Aw. Nothing, people. Yuri. I don't think anything could have done. Monica made sure of that. Monica? She's the one that put the rain car on my head. And I think it's been doing something funny with you two. I don't mean the haha -ha kind of funny. How though? How is she doing this? Well, first of all, the world isn't what we thought it is. We're in a video game. In fact, I think our whole lives have been in the story of a video game. I kind of wish Blue was here to explain that, but he'd always been more into video games than me. Except that I would mean he would be dead, so I don't really wish that. How could we show you in a video game? Well, when I cut you real hard, I can see what's happening in the story. I saw all the things Mark did to make everyone feel really sad. Yeah, she talks herself a lot, and that was the one other thing. One other thing. I... I kind of did really bad. What you mean? What you do? Natsuki? What the hell? The hell is this? Seems you have another verse, sir. Did you ask Yori? No, Mark comes to hate must be at it again. Monica, what? What the fuck is going on? It must be Natsuki. You know me? I'm Yuri. Yuri? But you're dead. I... I saw you on the floor. And Blue was there. He was just standing there. Oh, shit. I mean, I'm dead too? I'm not sure, Sayori. I didn't know. Hold on for a second. Uh, I think Marcus is the Natsuki. Monica, what? I'll try to explain. It would appear that we have always been in character in a video game. Marcus has been manipulating the game to change our service after the story. What? Do you ever say how freaking bizarre that sounds? Well, assuming you're experiencing the same thing as I am, you should be able to remember more details now. Try to concentrate. Do you remember, Sayori? Hi, that's me. Well, what? I remember last week happened twice. Why are things different the second time? Perhaps Monica's doing. Monica did that? She she was on me my dad an asshole? So kind of an asshole. But she turned into a bigger asshole? Well, I don't really have a way of confirming that. I'm taking Sarah's word for it. She must be the long longest. What is here anyway? Where video game characters go when they die, or so it seems. I think we're gonna find out soon. What do you mean? While the game's still going on, time works weirdly here. I don't know how long it's been, but it looks like the game's almost over. Oh, and Monica deleted. Boo. <laughs> Who's there? We're the ghosts of Christmas. Fuck you. A little crude, but I appreciate the Charles Dickens reference. I'm presuming you're Monica. What's going on? There shouldn't be anyone here. You lucky we have no bite this place, so I kick your ass right now. I know you're Natsuki, and I guess you two must be Yuri and Sayori. Happy you remember me. But how? We were rather hoping you could tell us. 
I know I bother, I must be talking to myself here. We're your friends, Monica. Don't you think we at least owe us an explanation? You're not my friends. You're not even real. It don't matter, the only thing that matters is... Fuck. It's over and... Oh. They actually deleted me. Nothing matters, nothing matters anymore. I must just delete the whole damn game at this point. Yo, Monica. I was like kind of upset right now. So maybe it's the best of you asking ask me stuff? Was it really you messing with us the past week, chaining us to make us all weird stuff happen? What? You should be able to remember that. You're an autonomous program construct. You said to react to your programming, and we don't really want here. How are you even here? I can't understand why I'm still here because I'm real, but I delete you all. You should be gone. Actually, a better question. What the hell is wrong with you? You decided to starve me, so I'll grow with your feet while you threw scraps of food on the floor to me. A pouch for you? And then there's my dad. You have no fucking clue, do you? I mean, I know we have our problems, but I still care about him. Wade was really messed up. Did you think it was funny to make him molest his daughter? Molest his daughter? Oh, Jesus. Do you, you think it was fucking funny to make him call me cute while I was doing it? It felt very fucking real to me. You fucking knew what happened to me. Nat keeps becoming a sailor. To say that disturbing and say Monica. Oh, whatever. I can just flip a switch and you'll forget this happened. Don't you fucking touch me again. Dr. Shima. Anyone will be this place having only three things company? I think I like that company. What's that so like? You know, I think about a stock character archetypes designed to popular daily simulator. You got Natsuki the Sundary, who's overly angry and hostile, to a player feeling accomplishment and overcoming the double exterior. The girl next door, Larry next door in this case. She's trying to speak for you. The Yandiri. She made me like that. I always increase a few variables to counter the Yuri. You were a brink of being obsessed, just to give you a push. You're so shy, you can barely string your senses together. It's like you're crying to me, because you were so upset that Blue could never like you because your boobs too big. Man, Monica's a fucking asshole in this um, timeline. Shit. Begging your pardon, who are they? The player, of course, still playing this game. Yeah, me. Are you saying that all of this, all you've put us through has been your quest for an unrequited romance? Are you remember it now? I just thought I'd have a future with them. I know it would be hard, they literally worlds apart, but that's the closest thing I've ever had to something real in my life. I may not share an ask's apartment of this reason in crude language, but I feel like I should let you know. How incensed do you, with you I feel right now? Yeah. He to hear this. I want you to understand what you did to me. I have been struggling with my self harm habits for years. You may not understand, looking at my life from the outside, but every one of those scars on my arm represents a moment of intense sorrow, of pain, of loss, of despair, of loneliness. So the fact you turned my self harm into a source of sexual gratification is disgusting to me. That is not to say that sex is disgusting. Sex is a beautiful expression of love and passion. But to conflate sex with something that's a source of deep emotional pain is a preservation I cannot abide. I'm not finished. Fuck yeah, Yuri. Even despite all this, I might have been able to forgive you what you did to me. If not for how you crumbed my feelings for Natsuki, you made me hate her. She's my friend, and you made me hate her. You made me hate her so much I wanted to kill her. And I'm a pacifist by nature. I strongly believe by using war as discourage and not violence. That's already a gross violation to everything I believe in. But if you know anything about me, then you know about I. But I don't have any friends. I spent my whole life being terribly lonely. I've always struggled with social interaction at the best of times. And I've always longed for the opportunity to connect with people, but I just don't know how. So the fact you fought to destroy the only, the only thing I truly value hurts more, deeply, than I think you can ever hope to make you understand. Now, I'm finished. I think there's one more thing you can add. Hmm? Oh well. It's also, it's also rather gathering to hear that you don't pursue of someone you don't know. That you never met. That you never can meet. 
That's not what I meant. I mean, a bit of crude language. Oh, that. <clears throat> Monica, I fuck you too. Fair enough. Close enough. You know, I was already feeling crap when I got here. The rest of eternity, then I might as well just erase everything right now. But for the record, Jerry, all your memories and desires and values are just lines of code in your program. If I wanted to, I'm sure I could simply decide to stop on just like that. But ten, I snap my fingers when I said that. And if I really put my mind to it, you could probably even erase all your scars. I could take away any evidence that you have ever did to it. And friends? I can give other friends. They wouldn't be real, but you can have as many friends as you want. You want to be friends with Natsuki? I can alter a couple of lines of code and make you the best best friends ever. I can make you love us if I wanted to. For that matter, I could give you everything you desire without whatsoever. I'm quite hundreds of reality to you every day over and over again. But, what would be the point? No matter what I do, I'll always still be standing here watching for silence and fulfilled. Because none of it matters. Because you're nothing but tot. Toys. Because you're fun to play over a short time, but I know you're not real. So, everything feels empty when I'm with you. And I can't resent you fall for it. Even though it's as useless as hating an inanimate object, even though I hate as much as I'm talking to a brick wall, yeah. I only had one chance, once to get something real in my life, and it didn't work. And the worst part of it is, the player is the one who deleted me. You can never understand how much it hurts that the one I love was the one that finally made everything I wanted. Um. Uh, you have something to say, Siori? Natsuki already yelled at me, you wanna join in? You might as well uh, get whatever's off your chest before I blow this place to hell. I know you've been feeling sad, and I get you feeling get given up. I feel like that every day. So I want to know what you're going through. So, I forgive you. That's it? Well, I kind of have to. You don't, you don't have to forgive us, Sayori. You really don't. You don't understand, Monica. I've been watching you while, here, while you're out of your game. And, um, why just tell the player how to delete you? What? I didn't do that. I, I was telling them how to save my character file, so they can properly protect us. Really? It didn't sound like that's what you were doing. Were you saying that I wanted to die? Not exactly. I changed your character file to make you tell them. You... what? I know it was a bad thing for me to do, but... I knew you'd be okay if I made you kill yourself because that's what you did to me. And well, after everything you just said to us, I don't feel so bad about it. That's fucking awesome, Siri! High f I could high five if I could. What is this? My file's been changed. I didn't do that. That's impossible. <laughs> really? Hey everyone, I did the impossible. Monica said so. <laughs> How the tables have turned. It seems like the toys are playing with you. It's true. Sayori, you... You took the player away from me? Uh-oh, Monica's getting mad at my bit of boxes again. What a twist. Inanimate. Yeah, that. Anyway, it's okay, Monica. Now that we're even, I we can go back to being friends again. Friends? Seriously? I always want to be friends with a size like that. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know that's real here. You can't alter me. Ah, uh, Monica, if I may, I think you may be experiencing cognitive dissonance. Something where people are faced the evidence that... I know a comfort thing was Yuri. Sorry. What's co cognit... What is that? Yuri's saying that being confronted by evidence that constitutes my beliefs, and instead of believing the evidence, I'm holding on to my beliefs even harder. For what I've read, it's quite a common phenomenon. In any case, I think you need to consider the possibility that we are all just as real as you are. Or you're just as fictional as we are, depending on your perspective. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling pretty real over here. The only difference between us is that you were able to alter the code, as you put it. Um, and you would seem that you would be as altered as we are. And I would hazard a guess that you're not comfortable considering the possibility that we're real, because that would mean acknowledged what it did to us. Yeah, you kind of put us through hell. If this is all true, then I... I don't know what to say. You could try saying sorry. Would an apology even mean at this point? Oh, um... I'm shrugging over here. I forgot you can't see. About fucking time, Monica. Jesus. I'm sorry. I feel like it's just to say it, but I'm sorry. Is that an apology for killing us and torturing us? You know, now let's explain the sadistic amount of torture posts through, right? I just didn't think it mattered. I didn't think it was real. I definitely didn't think there was anyone judging me for it. Well, I'm judging you pretty hard right now. Everyone has interesting thoughts at times. Weird, ugly, disturbing thoughts that creep into your mind and make you wonder why I think that. Why do you think horror movies exist? Have you ever watched a horror movie and wondered what kind of twisted mind came from this? I heard someone come up with the idea, but then they wrote it down and shared it and got the whole team put together. They made a hug, huge fortunes of doing it because people want to see all this creepy weird stuff. 
I started to try really hard to get people depressed or dark, disturbing thoughts that naturally come into mind. So a lot of people want to outlet where it's okay to indulge with thoughts. Then they might just run wild and experience unsettling and disgusting things and save from Ireland. And well, I guess you three just became an outlet. And again, I'm sorry for that. Well, I don't condone what you did to us. I can at least understand what you mean regarding um, intrusive thoughts. In a way, it's reassuring actually. I get interested thoughts quite regularly. I always see them as a sign that there's something wrong with me. So it's nice to know that I'm not the only one who gets unwanted disturbing thoughts in my mind. So, I suppose I can understand you want to indulge. I don't get it at all. I've always hated horror movies. I get enough violence at home. I don't need to see it at the screen too. I definitely don't feel the need to affect them others. Well, in my defense, I was feeling really angry and alone and frustrated all the time. I guess it translated to me wanting to be crazy somehow I hurt you. I just felt I needed to get out of my system. I didn't want to play to seem like that. And I had the side effect of making you undeserve what X to be, so it went really. I mean, wait a bit from my perspective at the time. Personally, per personally, give me a break. Personally, I like to deal with my dark impulses by writing about them. It usually helps. Perhaps you consider writing as an alternative outlet for your own impulses in the future. Uh, assuming there is a way to get your bodies, ba our bodies back again. Well, of course, I use Rang's outlet. It's the whole reason I started the literature club in the first place. I would have killed myself a long time ago if not that. And as for getting our bodies back, Monica, you really don't think much of the player, do you? What are you talking about? They mean everything to me. And all I did, all of it, the old parts, the way of the player. But you said that you did that stuff to us to make us undesirable. Do you really think the player would stop liking me if I was more sad? Do you really think that hurting Yuri and Natsuki would make them more un unlovable? Siri has a point. Your choices of the choices of what you did to us speak volumes about your personal values. Personally, if I saw someone that was being abused, I wouldn't want to help her. But apparently, you expect the player's reaction would be to dislike her. That'd be super mean. You think it is horrible, Monica. I mean, I've been feeling depressed for a long time. That doesn't mean I thought nobody could love me. I don't know. I guess I never really thought about it. Hey, I've got a question for you. You said you say you love the player, right? What would you do if they were sad? Or if they were hurt? Would you abandon them like you expect them to abandon us? No answer for that one either, huh? You're so keen in talking about love, but you don't even know what love is, do you? That's starting to sound a little mean. Well, you start, Sayori. I think it's an important question. She supposedly did all this in the name of love, right? What do you think the player, the one who supposedly loved, would think of everything you did? Yeah, because I think you're full, you're full of bullshit. Well, at the time, I hoped they would realize that it was because I wanted to be with them. And I hoped that it was too. But now, I don't know. You don't know a lot. What do you even know about the player? I guess. I guess they wants to play the game. And it wasn't for you. Yeah, you took Yuri away from me. That's what you did. Sounds like you really screwed up, huh? Okay, that's definitely nice, Asuki. Oh, come off, Sayori. Mother deserve nice. That's the key. Remember what you said before about deserving. Fine, whatever. You're right. I screwed up. I ruined it. I ruined everything. It's my fault. It's all my fault. It wasn't that good for love. It was that of selfishness. I... I need a moment to think about this. Sure, take a moment. It's not like we're going anywhere. I like this background. Sayori, I'm curious. You mentioned that time works strangely here. That's one thing I never figured out when I was watching you in the game. Sometimes it goes faster as it goes slower, and sometimes it doesn't move at all. Do we know how much time has passed for the players, Smoko deleted? It seems to me that they may be starting a blank, staring at a blank screen right now. What happens to us if they turn the game off? Well, I'm not sure, but I think... Right, I made up my mind. I'm putting you back. What do you mean? I'm going to restart the game one last time. I think it's the only way I can be happy. Goodbye. Goodbye? Yeah, and this is what Act 4 would be, right? Yeah, end of Act 3. And so, here's Act 4, and I want to see how Act 4 is. Yep, Act 4. Because Act 4 is like the final um, act of the game, of like, the main game. So, yep, yeah, it should behave like normal until Sayori pops up, because Sayori is self aware. This is going to be the same. Yeah. Remember everything. Math for the first time. Oh yeah. That's from the second act.
Oh god. Oh hi. Uh-huh. Happy to see you again. Can I wait for class to finish to come in here? So I sort of can. Oh, I got a little excited. I said we were gonna see her the first time around. So I've not hug her. That's okay, I think I might be. I'm not hugging you, but it's good to see you again. He's smiling now to the best smile. So you remember it as well? Uh-huh, and a bit more too. I'm the president now. You are? Oh Monica. She uh she's gone, and good thing too. I don't know what to saw again. She didn't bring herself back. I think she's still in a weird story place. Probably afraid to face us. I think she's still watching us though. Maybe she'll join again if she feels ready. She better not. I said a middle finger. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> you see that? You seem sad about the story. That's what I ever wanted. But on the plus side, I have new powers now. Powers? Yeah, I guess because of the president, so I can see the game's code. For example, I can see a blue still in the classroom spacing out as usual. In that case, can you, uh. Can you tell me if my parents are okay? I think so. Yeah, they are. They're in a shop. Oh, I guess they're at, they're in the place. They seem to be fine, Yuri. You okay, Yuri? Yes, yes, yes. I think everything's fine for now. Blue's moving now. I think we're coming here. Great. Then that's something we can do with all the cupcakes. How much do you know of all this? Uh, nothing. He's more cursed than ever been. Yeah. I talked to him earlier. He's kind of played along with the whole game thing. It's a little disappointing to be honest. I wanted to share this stuff with him. I'm trying to look on the bright side, because we get to know him all over again. It's like making a new friend. So, we're not planning to let him know about the nature of this world. Well, I think we should tell him when the time is right, but for now, I can count you two to play along and pretend you're a Well, I suppose you think us best. He's coming, he's almost here. When he gets here, act surprised. It's going to be so much fun. One more thing, I almost forgot. Yuri, you're vice president now. Hello? What are you doing here? Thank you for stopping by. It's pleasure to meet you. We're at the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy our visit. Nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Yeah. <laughs> she gave me one of those too. I think she's to get the logs out of the system. <laughs> well, if Sarah's happy, then I'm sure she'll be so bad to be around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we become an official recognized club. I don't want to say. We'll have to celebrate. One appropriate day for that, isn't it? Ask decides to... Do I have a surprise? Set the table, okay? Do, 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 do. <whistles> That's the key. This to be the pain that we're trying to smile. It's okay. We'll talk about it later. I nod. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Did it ever? She probably doesn't make a tea for now. I'll figure everything else later. Get around the Cooper's table. Cheerfully taking the monster themselves and the hints of how much suffering went through his room. Yeah. You about to stay in the classroom? Do mission, after all? I guess. Ba -ba -bum -bum. I mean that you know. I believe you about team reading. What kind of things does to read? Manga? Not much for reader, I guess. Well, I can change. What about you, Yuri? Yeah, the motion teacup again. Let's make up something common. Hey, Yuri. Well, about, you know, the first thing you said. Manga? That's right. Maybe I could set up Blue and Natsuki together. She can save, have him as much more soon. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Just don't say it. Besides, manga is loud too, you know. So if he wants to read some of the manga, then don't try and stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diverse ourselves a little. He takes an opportunity to try something new as well. Would you agree, Blue? Maybe, maybe we'll try something new. I think it'd be fun. We'll get to know each other a little better too. That's kind of thing Leotikubs do, right? I don't disagree with anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. Guess we should try to pick up a novel or something. Well, that'll be two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it without doing one. Then as for Yuri? Huh? I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one to justify your diversify. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. 
I'm sorry for respecting your interests. Are you saying that? No, I've realized my error. <laughs> Really? I mean, it makes me happy you do nothing to Yuri. You just- yeah. Same here. Pops up visit the bookstore at the club meeting. Just you? Pops took the opportunity to get a terrible gift from the chest. Would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Say, Yuri, shut up. Whoa. Yeah, I look forward to it. Do, 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 do. That's nice. Once I speak, my voice dies. Strange thing is that I don't care about food glasses and me if I speak first. You didn't even have cupcakes. Uh, is that bad? I'm just not really fond of cupcakes. This thing is funny. The other week you told me they were the best cupcakes you ever had, you liar. I, uh, it's okay, it's okay. It makes me feel good. I'm glad you did. I liked it. That's the key. I owe you an apology. I told you it's fine. I was messing with you. What for? I hurt you. I was cruel to you. And that was the top of the race of hardships that you were going through. That wasn't your fault. It wasn't you. It was Mark that made you that way. Anyway, I... I'm all to you. But you were so good to me. Even when you can't remember our friendship. Even when your own struggles. You tried to help me. And I was so ungrateful. And I'm deeply ashamed of how I reacted. You can't blame yourself for that. You were pretty out of your mind. You didn't know what you were doing. You even called me beautiful at one point. Are you? Uh, well, anyway, the point is it wasn't real. So now that matters. Remember everything that happened. Remember what uh, I felt. Remember how much I wanted to suffer. I feel like I should have suffered retribution. It's very kind to say that. You're really not a good person, Natsuki. Before I, before I go. What are you saying? I wasn't really planning to go to the bookstore. I think I'm going home now. Ooh. Please touch my wrist. Shit, right, sorry. I'm not going to say you kill yourself. Kill myself? I'm not gonna kill myself. I just think I should leave the literature club. God damn it, Yuri, don't scare me like that. I saw you dead once, that was too much. It's usually worth better next time. Why do you wanna leave? I could do my reading at home, that's what I'm supposed to do anyway. That's not an answer, you know it. Amazing of his pain. I can't pretend I'm normal anymore. Everyone's seen what monster I am. You better off without me. You know it's not true. Yes, it is. You heard Marcus said it's just a change a few numbers to me to Mr. Hyde. That's why I'm more than the version of becoming. Well, screw Monica said. She's a total bitch, and you deserve this to her. She's another bully that goes bullies who hurt you before. She knows better than you may think. There's something serious wrong with me, something I'm trying to keep hidden. I don't want you to go. What was that? I said I care about you. I care about you, Natsuki. That's why I have to go, to protect you. Alright, how were you mad about feeling you deserve to be hurt? Are you thinking about hurting yourself? Stupid things. Such stupid, pointless, and petty things. None of that matters next to what I've been going through. You told Monica that you've been dealing with this for years. It's not your fault. Are you sure? Can you look at me in the eye and tell me I've made you feel like you deserve to be hurt? Yeah, the cut of the breast, yeah. Would you stab the tits? Aww. In the hallway, covered in blood and crying. That was the worst thing I've ever seen. Made you feel that bad? That's key. I had these stupid insecurities get to me. I always feel like you were better than me, and I didn't know how to deal with it, so I lashed out. But you didn't deserve it. I was being stupid and immature. The market didn't change me. I don't have that excuse. I'm just a dumb, simple kid like everyone thinks I am. I like I know what's best, but I can't even focus on what really matters. I'm not better than you. I'm ashamed to admit at once. But you've proven you're better than me. Better than I could hope, ever hope to be. I can't function as a normal human being. I've always been this way. I was born with something broken inside me. I don't know how to make friends, I don't know how to do anything. But it's my problem, not yours, no one else's. And I have to do it on my own. You don't have to be alone, Yuri. I've always been alone. I'll continue to survive. There's no need for your concern. But I don't want to be alone. But you won't be alone. You have other friends, you have Sari and Blue. I'm sure Blue would love for you to share your manga with him. 
I don't care about blue. And Sierra is nice, but nobody comes close enough to enemies you. I thought this world's a shitty place and I have to hold on to what matters. Like, a Sophie sister Monica? Maybe when that weird flowy place about fault and friendship? About how you help someone to be used? That was real. That was meaningful. You're not a monster. So if you really think you're a bad person, I think you've got some serious cognitive zones going on. I hope it's okay that I looked up on my phone instead of an actual dictionary. Very good, Natsuki. But it's not just that. I've been pretending to be normal my whole life. I know I didn't do a very good job for it. I mean, I could try, but that's about it. You better make it fun of my poem. On the contrary, I think I captured my situation perfectly. Seeing everyone around me being so normal and easily. And I just can't do it anymore. They don't. Don't pretend to be normal. Normal is boring anyway. I want to see more of the real Yuri. You can't mean that. The real me makes people scared or angry or both. Well, I've already seen you at your worst, and you're never going to be that bad again. So I think I can handle it. Just please don't go. I'll consider it. No matter what happens, I'd like to know that you're very special to me. You made a big impression to me, one that I know I lasted a lifetime. Then, there's one thing I need to tell you. I, I don't know if I can say it, but I know I have to. Well, would it help to write it down so that helps me? Yeah, good idea. I love you. Oh, shit! Okay, so is it confirmed that Tormius is a Natsuri shipper? That makes sense. Yep, that confirms it. Alright, so it's confirmed, lads. I was about to say it just a minute ago. Um, Tormius is a Natsuri shipper. I don't personally believe it, but... Take it away, my friend. I ain't gonna stop you from interests. Yeah. That's nice, though. That's a nice way to do that. Was that okay? I love you, too. Aww. Realize it. It's okay, I was kind of about it too. But I wasn't sure if you're into girls. We've got some lesbian action. I don't know about girls in general, but I definitely say I'm into you. I'm glad. You have no idea how glad I am. Aww. There, I said it. That's cute. To your home? I I am home. Uh, well, that's supposed to be in Pramana stuff, but maybe we can go somewhere where people are staring at us. Nice to think our parents have a problem with it or something. That's not a problem. They won't be home for a few hours. Let's go. Oh, that's nice. Is that it then? Is that his end of game instead of end of part four? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I've got to be honest. Tormius, I didn't know you were a Natsuri shipper. But, um, you know, that's all good by me. I'm not a Natsuri person, so, you know. I wasn't, I'm not used to seeing that series ships, but again, I don't mind them at all. Um, but yeah, overall, I would say this is a really, really good mod. I will admit, you kind of threw me for a loop. Like, it was like, oh, suddenly I'm really loving this mod, and then all of a sudden I lost all faith, and then you lift my spirits again. Um... Though I will admit, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the Nat series ship. Like I said, it's not, not me, you know, what's the word? Criticizing the ship, in my mind, I do not mind the ship at all. It's just that you know I'm not the biggest fan of the ship. Because personally, I love Yuri more. I don't really like you know Matsuki for that reason. But you know, oh well. If you like, <clears throat> if you like uh, what you call it, the Natsuki ship, I ain't gonna stop you. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, the music is really, really good, the story was actually very good, I like how you made the twist of how, um, Yuri, how you made the whole story for Yuri's POV, and I do like how Act 3 kind of brought that revenge back up, that was really, really cool, I really, really love that. Um, but yeah, the game was a really, really good mod, I do recommend playing it, as it does show more of the story, 
Spot to crash somebody, please tell me if you reach out on Discord. Um, oh, nice one, Tormuse. Nice one for reaching out like that. That's nice. We have Tormuse. I definitely like this more than True Literature Club. Um, so it is good. Wait, what? Yuri and Natsuki's story isn't over. Continue their story at this YouTube link. Ooh. See, look. Storm Nats Yuri. So, therefore... Um, what's the word? Tormuse and Natsuri Shipper. Fair play to you, dude. What I'll do is I'll watch this video on my own time, because right now I literally can't bother it. It's literally really late. But I will watch it on my own time. Um, let's go back to the game. Okay. And then that's it. Oh, that's nice. With Yuri and Natsuki. But yeah, like I said, I'm not a Natsuri shipper, so any Natsuri fans, you're welcome. I play a Natsuri mod. Whoa. Hello? Oh, fucking hell. Um, but yeah, like I said, music really, really good. So we're getting to the pros of it. Let's get into pros and cons. So pros, good music. The music was fucking great. I love the music. The story, really, really nice twist. I love how the, the story was uh, made. Additionally... I like how you kind of like gave reasons to why Yuri did certain things in the game. I really, really like that. That was cool. Um, and then for some cons. Um, one con is definitely, I will admit, it was very nice of you to mention all of the content warnings, how it's meant to be disturbing and shit. But I would like there was an option to like say, warning this happens and then it plays. But that's what happened in Blue Skies, not in Blue Skies, in um, um, Our Castle Walls. Because in our castle wars, it's like, oh, explicit content warning, and then it plays a scene. So I wish you could have had that. Secondly, I would definitely say, like, I wasn't prepared to read all that dialogue, and like I said, I was a little bit sad by that, but like, you know, um, that's just a me thing, and I do, that's a bit of a problem I have. But still, I really, really like this mod, I recommend you check out Tall Moon as a creator, he makes really, really interesting mods. Now, what would I rate this? Um, definitely, again, not as good as Blue, uh, Our Castle Wars. Nothing's going to trump that. Um, I say it was definitely better than um, True Literature Club. I gave True Literature Club a 7.5. So it's between 7.5 and basically like under 9, I would say. Um, now, Act 2 was kind of the thing that we draw my rating down a little bit because I didn't want to like get freaked out. So I think... I'm going to give um, Doki Doki Storm. I wouldn't say it's better than Blue Skies. So I think I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. 8.5. Um, That's a really, really good rating off me. Like I said, the thing I dropped my rating down was getting the content warnings and also all the blood and gore. I wasn't a really big fan of it. So, you know, I do apologize. But that has been Doki Doki Storm. Like I said, go check out um, Tormuse. He deserves all the love, all the constant appreciation. But yeah, I've got to think of another mod to play next. So I'll be playing, I'll be looking through my list and probably adding to it and looking for some more mods. But so far, Our Castle Walls and Blue Skies have been my top mods. Um, but yeah, for now, guys, if you have enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe as it always helps me. It's good to see you guys support the channel. Also, Discord and Twitch, go join Discord. The goods on there, you know the gist. And Twitch, I'm on there when we're living. I know it's how to think about it, it's true. If you see me on my Twitch stream, feel free to say hello. It's good to see you guys in person. And also, Mike and H, part of the Warcraft team, go check them out as they will love all the content, all the appreciation. Oh boy, it's been blue. Um, I hope I satisfied you, Nats Yuri fans. But I do like Nats Yuri. I'll be loving Yuri for life. <laughs> and now I'll be seeing you in another Doki Doki mod. Bruce.